And then we're going to do the next instalment for of Snails and Skylarks, and we're up to a poem called The Poetry Reading. Trapped and beleaguered in a web of guests, garrulous unto the perilous point of endurance, set upon ushering in the new day, with last gasp, wheezing of applause, we looked at each other across the littered chasm of mashed cigarettes and tumblers as well with debris of slaughtered drinks, looking for hopeful signs of departure and as before found only gaping mouths, insatiable and unstoppable, opening on profligate inanities, bruising the reeking walls with ballads, patri patriotic pains extolling the mercifully dead, roaring the praises of nubile na native daughters, long removed from a vicious gaze, beguiling the worms of their mythic charms, knee-thumping fists, flailing in lit spittle emphasis, beating at our limp-lidded doom, sending the spectre of sleep scurrying over the ink-black night bay, as gallant and gracious to the bilious end, we smiled and politely nodded and blinked our eyes, skewered to the convivial stake of friendship, hope of repose long kicked into exile, pacing the desolate hills as the unending carousel continued, caught in a time trap of bonhomie, I slipped into threadbare refuge of apathy, listening with marginal focus of attention as a court jester beside me told a joke done to haggard death all evening concerning a rural chiropodist who, when asked to lend a hand to stranded pub-bound motives, could only proffer a foot. Out of fear, self-willed torpor, I awoke to see a small miracle taking place. Holding the slim volume of my poems in your hands as if holding a fiery book of Job in an attitude of implacable thespian command, you were declaiming forth my pallid verses in your best ben heart tones of faith, a deaf Delphic nymph of sleek limb bombast, throwing pearls of imperishable truth and profundity upon the slack-jawed philistines gathered at your feet, a receding sea of, st of stunned, befuddled faces, whiskey hands stayed, stupefied in midair by the silken still siren of poesy, majestic in their midst, making each of them in quick turn suddenly homesick and hastening en masse to quit the holy temple. Alone at last we smiled and raised a final glass in tired triumph and homage to that slender sesame of our deliverance. You still held like a smiter in your hands as the waves broke and brightened below us and waking birds shook the grey hedges into life. And that ends that instalment for of Snails and Skylarks.